Hey guys, it's Outdoors with Justin F. I just got off the Davis Creek Trail and now I'm on the Poly Loop Trail. Let me tell you something. This is going to be a good one. Good exercise. Once again though, it is clearly marked. But to start off on this trail, it's a hill climb. So I don't know if it's the beginning of the trail or the end of the trail. I think I might have missed a trailhead down the curve down here but it's a loop trail so it really doesn't matter but once again this is a hill so you got to climb definitely not for beginners um, and it goes up a ways overlook my coke can I'm not endorsing it unless they want to pay me duh but anyways there's an overlook out here that I'm really wanting to check out. Um, there's a couple here in the Kanawha State Forest here. I'm not going to be able to get to them today. Like I said, there's over 80 miles of trail. But I did want to get a couple trails out of the way. Now, me and my girlfriend are going to come back here. And we're going to hike that six and a half hour trail loop from the book 50 Hikes in West Virginia. But I am really out of shape. Can you believe that? For someone that's outdoors all the time, he'll just whoop me. But guys, I feel totally safe. I mean, you can't see it down there. That tree's marked. It's marked every 20 feet. This is by far the best park I've ever been in. Minus the Appalachian Trail. I have been in five states on the Appalachian Trail. I plan on hiking in 2027. Guys, I'm gonna have to get me some gear. I might have to get prepared for that. That's what I'm doing now, because I'm gonna stream, not gonna stream it, but I'm gonna cover the whole thing. All 2,198 miles. It's gonna be sick. It's eight month hike. Some people do it in six, so between six and eight. But right now, I'm at the Kanawha State Forest. And let me tell you guys, West Virginia doesn't fail at all. I've not been to a place except for one. I'm not going to mention it because I'm not going to dog my home state. Um, but it's on the Ohio River. I'll just give you that hint. But um, West Virginia never disappoints. I've been in some hollers. I've been on some mountaintops. Been in some creeks. And I've been in some valleys, guys. I lived in these hills all my life, 38 years old. I love and being out in the wilderness if you haven't done it you're like kind of like kind of kind of like iffy if you want to go out and hike you don't have to hike big long tr tracks like me guys i mean i probably got about two miles in today i might have to hit going back the same way so i'm probably gonna get in about five miles um that's why i'm training right now because i gotta at least get 11 to 12 miles a day on the Greenbrier River Trail to get it done in 10 days. So I'm carrying my pack with me. I've got 38 pounds base weight and everything. I mean, 35 pounds is a good weight to carry. I got 10 days worth of food in here. Problem is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to carry. I mean, I got three pairs of jeans in here plus a pair of jeans I got on and two pairs of shorts. I got my cooking utensils. Got my food, like I said, I got my fire starters. I think I'm gonna be able to carry everything in this backpack. It's called for a five day pack. It's Ozark Trail. Um, you know, I'm not taking a tent, I'm taking a hammock, I'm taking a, a tarp, um, taking a sleeping bag on the bottom of my pack here. So I mean, it's not like I got much more to put in it. So I'm probably at base or not, I keep saying base, but overall weight on my pack is probably gonna be 45 pounds on day one. But you got to remember, right here we are, guys. All right, so this is the part that I missed coming in. Right over there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a road here is where I come off Davis Creek Trail. And Davis Creek Trail comes through here and goes up this valley. Oh, wrong valley. Goes up this valley right here and continues on. And then you go up here for the Poly, Poly Trail. 
But right here's another access point, boom. How do I know? Once again, red blazer right there. Canal State Forest, I'm gonna keep saying it. You guys are on point with your blaze markers. Feel totally safe, you know? I mean, if I get lost, I am comfortable with my capabilities and uh, my experience to last for a couple days. But nobody wants to get lost. But, you know, like I said before though, if you're a beginner hiker or you're thinking about it, guys, there is no better way to disconnect from the world than getting out in mother nature. Now, I do it year round. Um, I just got back from Oregon and California. Didn't do much hiking, I did a lot of driving, but I did do some hiking. Um, dude, the snow out in Oregon, like, I would've never guessed. Let me fix my hat so it looks silly. I would've never guessed snow. I mean, you see it on TV and such. Guys, this snow was over top of my head. It was sick. Hiked in it, loved it. I like hiking in all kinds of different environments, different situations, putting myself out there. And as I progress with my channel here, I'm gonna be doing more of that. Um, I'm gonna be teaching, you know, how to build a fire out of nothing. Um, pretty much your basic stick wood fires, um, flint fires and stuff like that. Thing is, I gotta learn how to do it. I know how to do the flint, I just don't know how to do the stick. Now my niece, she lives out in Oregon. She's a pro at it. I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna have her teach me that. I'm gonna come on here, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, I'll be building lean-tos. I'll be building shelters. You know, I'll be doing all this stuff in future reference. You know, like, like I said, like I'm all about all outdoor stuff. Right now, my hobby is hiking. I collect rocks. Um, but right now, I'm doing this poly trail. And, um, you know, it's definitely not for beginners. Maybe intermediates, but experts definitely. I mean, you got slips here. Trail gets narrow. I mean... But once again, it's clearly marked. Guys, if you're around the area or you come to West Virginia or the Charleston area, dude, it's real easy if you fly in. If you fly into Charleston Yeager Airport, it's probably about a 20 minute drive and you're here at the park, there's over 80 miles of trails. And guess what, guys? It's a big world. Get out in it, enjoy it. Peace.